Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, February 10. This is the 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman. And yes, the 5200 bottom is going on. We thought we'd uh, give you an insight into how we do it. And I know we shot a similar video a year or so ago, but they're difficult to find, so uh, we'll do a new one. And I'll just hand it off to RJ and John uh, to talk about what what goes into this process. Well, as we're putting the planks back on, we placed all the planks on the bottom of the boat, and we drew lines around them all. Started all this, started a few of the screws and drilled, pre-drilled all the holes back in the boat because we had two picked all the holes in the boat for the screws to get better bite in them. But then we pre-drill them to make sure that the boards are in the same spot. And after doing that, we took it all back apart and vacuumed it off. And as you can see, we're putting a good thick heavy bead of 5200 on um, each spot where the board is. We tape it off first to keep the mess from going too far and getting on the other boards and in the other holes. Uh, saves a lot of work cleaning out the pre-drilled holes if we put the tape on. We'll get a nice thick bead on here. We'll set the board in place. We'll actually start all the screws. Um, leave the board loose. Then as we get all the screws in, we'll start tightening the board up. The reason we do that is so the 5200 doesn't squeeze up through all the holes and then we would have to clean up each individual hole. As you can see, there's a lot of holes in the bottom of this boat. A lot of screws go back in the bottom of the boat, and 95% of them do not have anything squeezed back up to them because of the way we do it. And when you talk about the number of screws, we'll put about 2,000 screws in the bottom of this boat, about 1,000 per side. Uh, in Don Dannenberg's seminal piece on the true 5200 bottom, one of the points uh, he makes is that most people use too little 5200. Uh, we We're using about three tubes per run, uh, three tubes per bar. So there's probably two tubes under this one, three tubes under this one. So that's five tubes just for one strip of wood. So we'll have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 30 tubes in each side of the boat. So that's at least 60 to do the whole bottom, right. both sides, yeah. Yes. And Dannenberg says if you go light on the 5200, you've just wasted all of your money. Uh, you Right, we want a good, we want a good thick bead when we're all done with no voids. And every board should be adhered to the plywood really well with 5200. And these boards have all been sealed with multiple coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer, as has the, uh, the plywood inner skin. So you'll see on the boards that have already been installed, every one of them is lettered and numbered. Uh, sure, we could figure it out, but it's much better to catalog everything before we pull it apart. So this numbering system uh, is applied after we've got the bottom completely cleaned off. Now comes a moment of truth. I have to 
inch and a half right here. Yep. The first one we go through, we don't tighten them down at all. We just basically fill the hole down, bring them into the hole a little bit, but we don't want the 5200 to squeeze up through all the other holes. So I remember the first one of these we did, John. I think you and I were doing this before our joint, Jay joined us. Uh, we started at one end and just sunk all the screws. And then we realized ahead of us, we had all of these little spurts of 5200 coming up out of the holes. And boy, did we make a mess. So that's the process we go through. Uh, the cleanup uh, of the extra is 333. Um, yep. we, we use 333 to clean up after we take the squeegee and clean up the extra that squeezes out. And then after we get it all cleaned up, we go through with the acetone, wipe it down so that it'll cure. Because yep. we find the 333 doesn't, the 5200 doesn't cure real hard if you use 333 to clean it up and don't use acetone to wipe down with. Once, once the screws begin being set for good, here's the squeeze out that Don Dannenberg is referring to. There should be lots of it. And what that's telling you is the 5200 has fully filled the space between the inner plywood and the outer planking. And the extra is Squeezing out. Kind of looks like frosting, but I can assure you it's not. So with that, these guys will keep on trucking and... We'll be back to you soon with another update on the 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Sleep Mountain Boatworks.